All right, I'm going to work on the uh, uh, old uh, Viking warrior today. Um, I'm going to redo his helmet. And the reason I want to do redo it is because the old helmet, although it's nice, the panels are a little uneven. I would like to make them more even. And I think I came up with a better way of uh, making the helmet, I think. I'm just going to make, it's an experiment. And uh, I'm going to try this and see if it works out. And I'm going to be using monster clay. Um, which means I've got to put my monster clay up here under the uh, light and uh, get it softening up. So I got the regular clay sitting right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, little bucket I got with the uh, monster clay in it and put it up just about halfway under the light and uh, try to work it out that way. So it starts softening up so I can uh, work it. But I've still got this clay, and I'm going to show you what I'm thinking of doing yeah, as soon as I get my brain working here. Time to play with some clay. First thing I need to do is take a... Uh, measure of his head and uh, I'm going to do it with this uh, bonsai wire because it's, it's really flexible and uh, I'm just going to take the measurement using this wire. I'll just do that and uh, I'm going to make the uh, helmet just a little bit more round because there would be padding inside the helmet to hold it on to his head. And I don't want to make it too big, but just trying to make it round is what I'm trying to do. You can get this <coughs> bonsai wire online at uh, Amazon.com, or com, and it's, it's under the name bonsai wire. So see that key, that makes it nice and roomy, and it's uh, almost perfectly round. Okay, I'm going to make a tracing of the inside without having to move the damn thing. There you go. I've repositioned uh, my clay under the light. So I can get my regular clay softened up because that's what I'm going to make the initial helmet out of, or at least the shape of it. I'm doing this on the fly, not knowing if it's going to work or not, but uh, having had experience with making helmets in the past, or not ham helmets, but having had experience making cowboy hats in the past, uh, this may just work. My batteries on my cameras are getting really low, so I'm gonna turn off my cameras and uh, wait for my batteries to recharge in the, the charger and then come back. All right, I've got the uh, form of the hat the helmet, I mean, not the hat, worked out. And the next thing I'll do is uh, work out the stays. And that's going to be the brim and uh, the major, major supports going over uh, the 
the helmet and media in the center up the top. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, cling free cellophane on this thing just to keep the, the uh, monster clay from sticking to it. All right, now I got my clear cling free wrap. And I just need to get it to stick to the uh, clay. That's pretty good. Now, I don't know if this will work, but it's called Clean Free, and, well, that's kind of hoping that's what's going to work out. All right. All right, I've got new batteries in the camera. Us cameras and what I'm doing is I'm cutting out the excess of this cling uh, uh, cling free or cling wrap or whatever what is it called stretch tight I get it from Costco a huge thousand foot roll or 700 foot roll I don't know what it is but it's monstrous and I'll never run out of this stuff, but it's handy. I love it in the kitchen. Anyway. All right. Uh, I've got the uh, correct circumference now so I can plot out where my supports for the panels will be. And uh, so I'm just going to draw it here and here. This, take, this took some real thinking, <laughs> which I'm not used to. But at least the panels look the same size now instead of one smaller than the other. Each one's about a half inch wide. Probably should make them a little bit wider, but I think that's going to work fine. Okay. All right. I'm going to put this, uh, monster clay through my pasta machine I've got to get it down just a little bit and what I want to do is make it so that it'll go between the rollers a lot easier now I, I did a video on my video a couple of days ago on doing a pasta machine and you'll have to go back and refer to that you might have to I think it's one or two videos back I think it was the one where I was showing me making the helmet the first time all right let's take a little break here uh, for a little self-promotion Subscribe to my channel if you like my videos and click on that bell so that you get updated videos from my studio. Also, I'd love to have you comment and like my videos. Uh, this helps to promote my videos and I really need that. All right, let's get back to playing with my clay. I forgot to say start recording. <laughs> I was going to show you me putting this on, but I forgot to say start recording, and uh, it didn't record because I didn't say it. Anyway, I welded uh, <clears throat> where these joined together by heating up this tool and uh, 
melting it into the uh, bottom part of it. Anyway, I'm going to go make another one because this, this, this one doesn't quite reach to the center. So be right back. That's one of the beauties of having a uh, pasta machine is you can get the same thickness on all the uh, things, the framework. Again, I forgot to record. I get so into what I'm doing. <clears throat> I forget what I'm doing. Anyway, I got one panel in and I've got a master panel drawn out. Okay, this is the helmet so far. It looks good on him. I tried it on him. I'll work on the uh, mask tomorrow. I gotta let this clay cool because as you know, monster clay gets really stiff when it cools. And I'm just gonna let that do that overnight. And the more I fiddle with it, the more I screw it up. All right, this is the last thing I'm gonna do tonight. I'm gonna take the uh, helmet and put it in the freezer overnight. That way it'll be good and cold tomorrow and won't be as easily, you know, reshaped. And then I'll put uh, some really soft uh, JMAC clay in it to uh, hold it, hold the shape better. All right, because it is thin after all. I didn't make it as thick as I did the last one. All right, that's it. I'm gonna fix dinner and good night. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.